Hey, I'm Christian from Koma Electronic here today at the uh, Tokyo Festival of Modula and I'm gonna introduce to you our newest piece of gear, the Field Kit FX, of which we have two units here. I'm gonna use one um, to explain what it does. It's basically a, um, uh, a just a bunch of effects together in one box that you can either use separately or together and I'm gonna go through them one by one. Let's start in the left here where we have a looper and a frequency shifter with its individual input and output and two controls up here that I'm going to explain to you later. Then we have the digital delay here with input and output and the two controls here. And then we have a spring reverb with its input, output and the controls here. So that is the main uh, functionality. Then over here we have the so-called Rolodex CV generator that you can either use as a sequencer, as we do it right now, or as an envelope if you like to trigger it externally and then the four steps turn into attack, decay, sustain, release. Then up here we have a four channel VCA mixer with four inputs, uh, three tone controls. This is actually an old prototype, we could show this over here maybe. Uh, there is one special channel that is uh, designed to work together with uh, contact microphones and uh, electromagnetic pickups, mm -hmm. similar to the uh, mixer strips in the field kit, so you can use uh, these kind of signals too. What makes the tone uh, knob here? Uh, the tone knob uh, is, is uh, an extra gain, because usually for these kind of inputs you need extra gain to, to get them going, so for this channel we left the tone control away and we put in a, a gain control instead of it. And then the VCA itself down here, which you can either use for just for the loudness or if you um, assign any CV to that channel, you can also use it with CV. And the CV interface, we have it up here. It's very simple, you have four inputs and each input has one color. And then in this switch matrix down here, you can route the colors to all the controls. So for example, if you wanna um, have the, the third CV, the green one on your delay time here, you just click it as often as until the green light appears. So this would be the orange CV now, this would be no CV assigned to it. Now it's the first CV, now it's the second CV, uh, the third and the fourth. And then to the individual controls, we can maybe do that over here. Um, for the looper and the frequency shifter, if you are in looper mode, which is up here, you can, with these two controls, you have sample rate reduction on this control and a bit crusher on that control. If you flip it over to the frequency shifter, um, you can... You can, you can use these two as a mounting control, which basically means the left one is for uh, going up and down one kilohertz, and here you can blend over between the mid and the side band. How long can go a loop? Um, we are, there is no final version of this prototype yet, but uh, we are confident that we can make it up to six seconds will be the loop time, and then you can overdub as many times as you like. If you press uh, the button, now it's green, so it's armed, and if I click it, it turns red, and then it, it records. It turns blue when it plays back, and it flashes once uh, when the loop restarts. And then if you want to overdub it, you just click it again, uh, and again, and again. You can do as many overdubs as you like, and then if you click it once shortly, it goes away again, and uh, it's green again for armed. Then um, the digital delay, let's uh, go over here again. You have two, con two main controls, which is time and feedback, and then you also have a gain input. And you can use uh, this check to break up your feedback path and insert other eff effects in here. Then the spring reverb has also two main controls, because before the spring driver, there is a filter, a resonant filter that you can switch between bandpass and low pass with this switch here. And you can also uh, choose how much gain you have on the input. We don't have a spring tank attached to this one right now, so I can't show you. And yes, this is all the basic functionality, so let's listen to some things. We have, what are we starting with? We have like a kick drum going into here on uh, this channel here. Oh, I got confused, it's on this channel. Here. So right now this is uh, just the kick drum pattern, and I'm gonna use the delay to make it a bit more interesting.
So let's leave this for now. There's plenty of feedback in there. And then uh, over here I have the looper slash frequency shifter hooked up. And we just have a signal here from the modular, maybe we can sh show it shortly. It's just like an oscillator. Oops, sorry, it's not turned on. The oscillator going through the filter. We have control over it here. So why don't we record a quick sequence with this? So now we have, uh, we have this industrial sound looping here. We can overdub it if we like. For the perfection, let's take the output of this uh, solenoid spring here and we can turn it in as well. We can clear the loop again. And uh, I could show you if we take another input, let's take a sine wave as the input here. I can show you the bit crushing effect. And this is sample rate reduction. all the effects at once. Yes, of course. You can uh, use them all together. You can use them separately. They are not connected. So if you want to use them together, you just have to patch it together okay. from okay. Out input to output. You can make the signal chain yourself. Or you can use the VCA mixer to boost signals in between. I have a read on your website or on Kickstarter that the, the software is open source. Yes, the, from the digital part, the looper and the frequency shifter, they are uh, on a DSP and we, uh, we will make the code open. It's very well commented so you can change it yourself. Or you could even exchange the whole effect if you're into that. You could so use it as a so platform. So you've got already some uh, requests from developers? Not yet. Not yet. But also it is not available yet. And um, is on what kind of uh, code or is it based? It's C. C. Yes. So it, for uh, programmers it's quite easy. Well, for programmers, of course, it's quite easy, but also the code is very well commented, so even if you're not very programming apt, uh, you can just like change a couple of numbers, say like how much uh, bit crushing you would introduce or how many bits and so on, and then you can also get quick so results. It's, it's possible that we see maybe later a reverb inside or something Yeah, yeah, like totally. That. I'm, I'm actually, I hope that this will happen, that people will come up with their own ideas and their own effects, and then you can... Uh, exchange it and use other effects in there, yes. Um, so the product is already now funded on Kickstarter? Yes. What, are the, what is now the final price and when do you deliver it to your customers? The final price will be 249 euros oh. and we are confident that we will start shipping in March, maybe even earlier. In March. And um, it's available then at the regular yes. stores? Yes, exactly. At all the stores that we sell to and also directly from And in us. March it will be on stock? Or will yes, it will be stock. Okay, thank you. Thank yes, you. thank you.